Kings and pawns, Marshal. Emperors and fools. When I tell you they flipped it on us in this episode, they flipped it on mother effing us. Hi beautiful people, welcome back. If it's your first time, my name is Talia Diwali and this is This My Dem today. I'm talking about episodes 5 and 6 of The Devil's Plan, which is streaming on Netflix and is a Korean um, game show. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. This episode starts with Junbin looking for his pieces. He does find them, so it's not like anybody stole them or anything. But it was just kind of funny that he it started started off with him looking for pieces. And in a game where pieces are your lifeline, it's like, oh, dicey. But he found it. Um, Orbit then gives Junbin a piece because... Um, I think Orbit had told Junbin that he would do that when they were doing the puzzles. Not the puzzles, the last... The last price match that they were doing. Anyway, the top dogs right now are Seok Jin, Dong Jae, and Chi Won. Guys, when I tell you they flipped it on us in this episode, they flipped it on mother effing us in this episode. It was ridiculous. Anywho, Orbit is still on his hero complex complex wanting to save the weak players and Junbin is like no we gotta focus on ourselves and let everybody deal with their own situation as it is because in this game it's it's not all for one and one for all it's it's you for yourself essentially unless it comes to the prize matches where you have to put money in the pot the next day uh you've been stretched I don't know it has nothing to do with anything but the girl is flexible I was like god how you get your legs to go all the way back like that. I just, it had nothing to do. I just found it really, really impressive that she could do that. Um, so remember how I told you guys that she won was gunning for orbit in the last episode. She and Donje are talking and they are just bitching about the, um, orbit in this episode. They're like gunning for them and they now decide, they strategize and they decide that they want to bring more people over to their side. So the only people who are kind of like floaters right now are Human and Haesong. So they decide that they're going to try and get them in on their alliance. Dong Jae wastes no time. He gets downstairs, goes in for breakfast, sits beside um, Haesong and uh, Yumin and starts chatting them up. Then it, be it becomes a game of recruiters, people, because everybody was trying to recruit everybody. Th the main match has not even started. This is only day two. And people were like gunning for everybody. Shiwan was going, um, trying to get you mean to to come over and work with her so that it's just both of them against everybody or just both of them collaborating dong jay was trying to get to kyung rim and everybody was just trying to get everybody dong jay um is talking to both you mean and hey so i'm trying to get them to collaborate with him for um the next match that's coming up Sok Jin is trying to be the voice of reason telling dong jay to calm down and not create all this um not create paranoia and not think that it's it's them against it's the good guys versus the bad guys or you know us against them he's just trying to be the voice of reason saying it's only day two let's just see what the next thing is and then we can figure it out and decide on the spot he's being so mature about it does anybody think that uh Sok Jin looks like brian man ryu in street fighter kind of like way back when he reminds me of ryu from street fighter the street fighter from like 1994 let me know in the comments section if you clock that resemblance or if i'm just you know spinning in the wind the main match starts and it's secret numbers. Oh my, the rules, the rules, the rules, the rules. This, this game had me questioning my entire education system. I mean, for this girl, this apple fell far from her mom's tree because my mom was a mathematician. So I'm pretty sure she would have been on this like just, yes, yes. But I, I was like, huh? What? <laughs> but the secret numbers the contestants must either trust everyone or no one as they must look for clues on what um each other's numbers are to avoid elimination okay so the secret numbers is uh it's a game of strategy and trust each contestant will go to the dealer to select a number card but not even the contestants will know their numbers to figure out their numbers and each other's numbers they are given a set of four tickets the tickets include addition, multiplication, division, and a zero. To find out information, players have to agree to go into the booth and forfeit the same card. If using the additional card, they will be given the sum of their numbers. The sum greater than 180 is displayed in a range of in a range from 180 to 199. If less than 20, the range is 3 to 20. The multiplication card reveals the final digits 
of the multiplied total. The zero ticket reveals how many zeros in both of the contestants numbers. Using a piece, the contestants can purchase more tickets within the 120 minute time frame. All contestants must fill out an answer sheet with their guesses of the their numbers and the other's numbers. If they guess that their numbers correctly, they will win five points. If not, they lose five points. Each co correct guess of another number, another's number wins points and leaving a person blank has no penalty. But if they guess wrong, they lose points. They lose a point. Guessing all the numbers correctly earns five points total. It's just, it just keeps getting harder and harder people. Like honestly, when they were reading the rules, I was like, I don't even care. I just need the drama. I just need to see you guys scramble. And when I say these people were scrambling, they scrambled. It's like they all started out. They had a plan. Everybody was like, I'll work with this person. I'll work with this person. I'll work with this person. And as soon as they said, go. It was like um, council session at Survivor. Dongju was like trying to get in with Yumin and Haesung saying that, oh, I will protect you guys. I won't betray you guys. Nobody wants to believe Dongji because Dongji is supposedly the villain of the story. So they start with calculations. Some people want to do a four, four, four group team. Some people want to do two. Some people want to do three. People think that three is the best option, but Orbit comes up with this strategy that maybe he can work it out with four people. Junbin convinces Seng Wan to betray one person in in order to stay in the game. Right now, Seng Wan is supposed to be allied with Yeon Woo and uh, She Won. Hei Song is under the impression that Orbit is working with her because they'd had this heart to heart conversation the day before and he said that he will protect her and they will work together. Dong Ju tells Yumin not to trust the people in her alliance, which are the bad guys, which is Dong Jae and She Won and Sook Jin. Dong Jae, She Won, Seng Won, and Yeon Woo are strategizing and Dong Jae says that he doesn't want, want to work with Shiwon because he doesn't want people to gang up on them again like they did yesterday. Shiwon respects his decision and she leaves. Dong Jae then proposes that Jun Bin, uh, Seok Jin and himself work together. But Jun Bin already has his alliance with the good guys, with, with um, Dong Ju and with Orbit. So he can't really get with Dong Jae. And then he tells Dong Jae that I don't really trust you. So obviously that's not even going to work out at all. The groups just start running simulation. Everybody now goes into their different rooms. They start running simulation to see if the game can work. Um, she one then proposes to work with uh, Seng Wan and Yonu. It's undecided, but nobody has said anything yet. So the game officially starts. In order, the first thing they need to do is place prison bets. They have to bet on who they think will be going to prison at the end of the game. Jun Bin, Seng Wan, Orbit, Dong Jae, and Hae Song all bet on Hae Song. So Hae Song bet on herself. Yeon Woo and uh, Shi Won bet on Dong Jae. Dong Jae bets on Dong Ju. Um, Seok Jin, Kyung Rim, and Yu Min bet on Jun Bin. After that, they get their cards. They choose their cards. They don't know their numbers, obviously, based on the rules. And then the game starts. In the end, Yeon Woo, Shi Won, and Seok Jin. Uh, collaborate together and team up without Seng Wan. Seng Wan was in the room talking to Jun Bin and so he got, he got caught out of this whole thing and wasn't included with him. He was not happy. In fact, I don't even know that because in the end, I think Seng Wan was, was scheming to or being played to double cross his teammates but it just didn't work out. They cut him out and the three of them decided to form a group on their own. The entire game was one giant mind people honestly that's how i see it um hey song then gets dong j to swear <laughs> on his religion that he's not going to double cross them or backstab them which he does so he formed that team he's working with yumin and hey song they shall go in they do their numbers they they send their tickets they figure out their, their numbers or at least they figure out the figures for them to figure out the actual numbers dong j figures their numbers out and he tells the girls keep it to your chest do not tell anybody these numbers i am trusting you with my life right now don't give it to anybody everything is sealed up everybody is happy then they all come out and dong Jae talks kind of pulls suk jin aside for like maybe 20 seconds and talks to him jun bin sees this and starts to incite chaos he starts spreading the word that oh the bad guys are back together did you see dong jay pull um suk jin aside they're talking he gave them our numbers they pull you mean us outside they're like oh dong jay is double crossing you guys what are the numbers tell us now it was like a hive all on you mean and they were just pressuring her pressuring her pressuring her and this was at the end of episode five um it was like three minutes left for them to submit their scorecards and 
you mean an orbit come out of the contract room and everybody's like of the count room sorry and Dong Jane loses his mind. He's like, what were you doing there? What were you doing in the side there? What's going on? What's going on? That's how they ended episode five. Jump to episode six. Dong Jae pulls Yumin into the room. He's like, what's going on? What's going on? Hey Song is asking Yumin, what happened? What happened? It's like, did you tell them our numbers? Did you tell them our numbers? What's going on? Like, it was just chaos. It turns out that Yumin had told Orbit their numbers. And everybody in the good guys crew wrote down all the numbers except for Yumin because she was the informant. Now, Yumin did not plan to double-cross her teammates, but the whole pressure and everybody coming at her, Yo, uh, Kyung Rim was telling her that Dong Jae has double-crossed you. Yumin was telling her that Dong Jae has double-crossed you. Everybody was saying, Dong Jae has sold your numbers to everybody else. You need to come out with the numbers and tell us. Like They really played this girl like a fiddle, a cheap fiddle as she sung like a canary. It was so sad and so heartbreaking, honestly. But it was chaos at its finest and it did the work that it was supposed to do. It was seamless. So, obviously everybody's turned in their, their scorecards right now. And now they're waiting for the results. The results are in. Junbin, Dongju, Sengwon, and Orbit all have seven. Which verified that Yumin had given them her own group's numbers. Uh, Yumin, Shiwon, Yeonwoo, and Sokjin have five. So that means they got their own numbers right hey song has one kyung rim has six and dong j has zero it was bad it was bad so you know you know you know that they took out a goliath and dong j was out of this game i was like honestly my mouth was open i could not believe it at all i was like dong j was one to watch and he was supposed to go the farthest why why my whole plan my whole thought um thought process was that they were going after she won or sukjin so why did dong j get shot and why was hey song catching strays you know that was really bad so because you mean gave up the numbers the good guys all got seven plus Everybody who gets six points and over gets a piece. So they all got one piece. Kyung Rim got gets one piece. Uh she won was devastated because obviously Dong Jae was her partner in crime. That was her partner. Even though they weren't working together in this game, they were supposed to go to the end together. Uh Dong Jae and um Hae Song are eliminated and they go back into the house to pack their stuff. Orbit starts crying and I'm like, Orbit, no, can it? He was crying because of Song, obviously. But I'm like, no, you knew what you were doing because you specifically said that they should not write Yumin's number. You could have included Song in those instructions, but you didn't. So, I mean, shut those tear ducts and keep on moving. Dong Jae starts crying too at the house and Song starts to bet him. I thought that Song would be breaking down, but it was Dong Jae that was breaking down and Song betting him. Uh, for prison, Yonu has one piece. She's definitely going to prison. And then it, the top guys needed to vote on who else will go. Junbin um, decides to nominate himself because he feels bad that um, they had used Yoon Min, even though it was, it was kind of like in the chaos. He feels very bad that Yumin was the one who was used and that she feels horrible because she betrayed her teammates. So he sacrifices himself to go to prison. The players return to the living area and say goodbye to their teammates. Dong Ju becomes the true villain in this one, people. She went from good guy to devil instantly because she had no remorse for the people that were crying, no remorse for the people that left. She's like, you guys did it to yourself, you know? She was very on it, like saying, I'm not going to cry for anybody that's leaving very much in your face about it and i was like oh i still like her i think her gameplay was spectacular but i was like oh that's the true villain of the story at the dining table she won and dong dongju get in on it because dongju was calling she won out for saying that she won had approached her in the morning and saying that they wanted to work together but she said it was double standards because when she approached her in the game uh, arena she said no that she didn't want her so they kind of got at it in the end she won just got up and left it was uncomfortable dongju went to her room and started crying and kyung rim was like you know really consoling her kyung rim knows her mom so i think kyung rim knew her when she was a little girl and so she's kind of like she has that affinity for her and she, she already told her that she will do anything to help dongju win so um in prison junbin decides that he's going to ally with yumin the next day because he feels terrible and his whole goal for the next match is to make sure that yumin survives 
Prize match comes along and it's Ward Tower. So for Ward Tower, uh, the remaining contestants must work together in unison to piece together English words to add to the prize money. The Ward Tower game is simple to understand. Uh, for this round, the contestants work together to build uh, words using wooden blocks. The blocks have to follow a given theme like animal, city, fruits, uh, or countries, I think. Before time runs out, each contestant must stack the word vertically in front of them to win more prize money. Um, each round is 10 minutes long and the prize money for this round was 100 million won, which cancels out my 50 million won 10 prize matches. So I don't think that's how it works, but the prize money for this one is 100 million won. So round one, there's three rounds. Each round is 10 minutes. Round one comes along. Most countries declare that in one minute. They are putting their hopes on Dongju and Yumi because they, the girls, these girls live in the United States and they're English speakers. Round two, it's fruits. And it took them about eight uh, to nine minutes to get it. I love word scramble. I'm not the best at it, but I love word scramble. I might not be good at math, but I'm good at word scramble. And I was screaming, Dorian, Dorian. anybody please so it took them about eight minutes to eight to nine minutes to get that done then round three came along and it was animals the theme theme was animals and this one was very hard for them even this one it, it definitely took me for a spin but i don't understand why the winning word was butterfly are butterflies animals i don't i thought they were insects so i feel like that was kind of like a great area there but let me know in the comment section if you know uh but it took there was only 17 minutes 17 seconds left on the clock when they got the last word and they stacked their towers they won and they added 100 million won to the price pot bringing their price pot to 150 million which was kind of nice back in the quarters are uh, sok jin and she won compare pieces because they figured out what dong jay had figured out um about in the last episode that the pieces are all different so um they at first he brought it up in front of uh kyung rim but then they moved into his room and then he said that he didn't want it to look like they were shady so they will talk about it later at 1 a.m she goes into his room and they're trying to figure it out she said that she was going to sleep there if she had to just so she could figure that out just because she wanted a win with dong dong jay leaving she just wanted a win right and so uh at around 2 30 a.m it looks like seok jin solved it but that was the end of the episode so guys i'm on this i'm hooked i'm gonna be uh reviewing seven eight and nine the next day whenever this video drops so just watch out for that but i'm loving this the rules are impossible to to understand for me well they're not impossible but they're very complicated and um i don't care i'm here for the rules the drama the games loving every aspect of this show and i hope that you guys are enjoying it too so yeah i will see you guys in the next one Be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when that that video drops and uh yeah <laughs> bye